From a FedEx truck in Salt Lake City that got cut in half by a speeding train, to a Ford F-250 in Odessa, Texas that wound up on the tracks after a high-speed crash, and an impatient driver in Poland who thought they could beat the incoming train, here are some of the worst train crossing failures caught on camera. In the Taiwanese city of Xinchu, a 46-year-old woman named Chen fell asleep at the wheel. Unfortunately, she nodded off while crossing the railroad tracks. On May 2nd of 2018, Chen was driving with another female passenger. They arrived at a railroad crossing where traffic was a little backed up. According to Chen, she didn't notice the red warning lights when she stopped in the line of cars. When the crossing arms came down, both women knew they were in trouble. Bumper footage from the car ahead of them caught the whole thing. Miraculously, Chen escaped with only a few minor cuts and bruises. Her passenger was also unharmed. The back of her car absorbed most of the damage, while the front didn't look too bad. Chen told police she was tired and briefly nodded off when the arms came down. Her passenger woke her up, and Chen tried to maneuver the car out of the way. But traffic was so backed up that she couldn't wiggle her way out in time. The passenger ran for the emergency arm release, but it was too late. The Puyama 110 Express train came speeding along the tracks and took out Chen's car. Even though it was an innocent mistake, Chen was fined 15,000 Taiwanese dollars or about 500 bucks. She also lost her license for one year. Railroad crossing workers have one simple job. When the train's coming, put the crossing arms down. Apparently, this railway worker in Salt Lake City, Utah, missed that vital lesson. It was a snowy January day in 2017. A Salt Lake City police officer cautiously approached the railroad tracks as some FedEx trucks crossed paths. All seemed normal until the train appeared out of nowhere. This accident was so blatant that something else had to be going on. According to the Utah Transit Authority, the railroad crossing arms default to the down and active position when bad weather picks up. That means they stay down for added safety. The arm operator is supposed to contact incoming trains to see if it's safe to raise the arms. The train itself is supposed to travel at 15 miles per hour during these conditions. This one was hauling 40 down the tracks. When the arm operator got to work, he lifted the arms without checking with the train. The FedEx truck never saw it coming. Thankfully, the driver was okay and nobody got seriously hurt during the crash. The arm operator did lose his job, though. There's no three-strike system for causing train accidents. Popovo Osiecki is a small village in northern Poland. On November 26th of 2017, another impatient driver thought he could beat the train across the tracks. Spoiler alert, the train won. Thankfully, the driver survived the crash. He was taken to the hospital to deal with some minor injuries. He's lucky his van moved away from the train when it spun 180 degrees. Now you might be wondering why the stop sign in Poland has the English word stop. It's because of the Vienna Convention on Road Signs and Signals, a UN treaty agreed upon in 1968. 
One of the provisions involves universal stop signs since most European countries have open borders. The big white stop on a red octagon means the same thing in every language. Patience, noun. The capacity to accept or tolerate delay, trouble, or suffering without getting angry or upset. Now, we don't know where this event took place, but it is a valuable lesson in patience. Our driver pulls up to a railroad crossing and stops at the sign. As he does, the bells chime and the arms come down. You can tell by his sudden stop that he's already annoyed. He even has to back up a little to avoid touching the arm. Apparently, 15 seconds was too long to wait. He gets out of the car and checks both directions. If a train was coming, it would have been here by now, right? All he had to do was wait 20 more seconds. Now his car is totaled and he's late for whatever was so important. He might also be the internet's most impatient man of the year. To add insult to injury, the arms go right up when he checks the damage to his car. Let this video be a lesson. When the arms come down, there's usually a train coming. Back in mid-July of 2022, officers with the Hiawatha Police Department were responding to a call just like they do any other day. This time, though, something unthinkable was about to happen right before their eyes. In the body cam footage, you see a white car driving down the road in the distance right as a train is about to pass by. For unknown reasons, the driver of the car doesn't stop at the crossing and rolls right into the path of the train. A 47, we have a PI, PI car versus train. Immediately, officers ran towards the scene to check on the driver. They had to wait a while for the train to come to a stop before they could finally climb over. When they finally got to the car, you can see that the airbags did deploy and the rear had sustained a significant amount of damage. Fortunately, though, the 50-year-old woman behind the wheel survived the ordeal without any serious injuries. Most of the damage was to the rear, and she was the only passenger. Police are investigating whether or not alcohol played a role in the crash, but no arrests have been made thus far. Odessa, Texas is a decent-sized city near the New Mexican border. It's famous for being the setting of the book Friday Night Lights and the eventual movie adaptation. But on April 20th of 2023, Odessa made headlines for something else. Around 8.30 a.m. at the intersection of West Murphy and Business 20, a Honda minivan and a Ford F-250 collided. The crash sent the white Ford spiraling onto the train tracks, right in the path of a moving train. The Ford, which was towing a trailer at the time, careened off the road and got stuck on the tracks. It was almost suspended in place, waiting for the train to come through. Thankfully, the driver jumped from the truck before the train hit him. According to police, the minivan driver passed away on the scene. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another just like it, then be sure to click the link on screen now. As always, thank you for watching and tune in next time.